At this point, Bob Chapik is probably pretty used to getting flamed by the fans because the past few years, there have been a lot of people upset at Disney for a variety of reasons. Whether it's what Lucasfilm has done with Star Wars, whether it's the parks being an absolute disaster, especially with all the COVID pandemic nonsense stuff having to be, imp uh, having to be implemented in the parks. And of course, we see what Marvel is doing, full MCU, and so many people have voiced their frustrations. And Bob Chapek has been a target of a lot of that. And recently, people have slammed him for the memo that he put out there to the Disney staff, a memo that was going out there to the staff only, not necessarily for public release, but he had to know damn well was going to be released publicly. One of the things that people had a problem with was the third pillar of what their focus is on, because it's so anti everything that Disney has been standing for a third relentless focus on our audience. And we'll get into specifically what that means. But the backlash was pretty strong for Bob Chapek after this because people can tell they don't actually mean this. Uh, they're, they're acting like they've been listening to fans this entire time. No, they have not. They've been doing the opposite of that. This is a company that decided to fire Gina Carano over her political opinion after a microscopic group of people on Twitter decided to make a bunch of noise about it. That is not listening to your audience. You have people at Lucasfilm constantly shitting on fans. You have them doing things with these series that people aren't asking for, that people don't want because they want to put their identity politics into everything at Lucasfilm and at Marvel Studios. So no, you haven't been listening to your audience. And the backlash seems to have been bad enough that they're doing damage control with the former Disney CEO. A former Disney CEO, Michael Eisner, had to come out and say, I'm a big fan of both Bobs. Former Disney CEO talks streaming cinemas and selling tops. And I just thought it was interesting that you needed to have, uh, you know, Michael Eisner come out and kind of do damage control for Bob Chapek because of how mad people were after he came out with that plan to move forward. I wanted to get to some of these quotes. Amid widespread criticism for Disney CEO Bob Chapek, former Disney chief Michael Eisner had nothing but positive things to say about the current CEO. I'm sure, I'm sure Michael still has a lot of Disney stock, doesn't he? I'm a big fan of Disney. I'm a big fan of both Bobs. Yes, I hired him, Chapek. Is he the same executive as I am or Bob Iger is or anybody else is? He is his own guy. He was very good at Disney when I was there. He took our home video business from rental to a sell-through business. That was very risky. He did a very good job in the parks. I am a shareholder. I think he's going to do very well. What are the odds that Michael Eisner was randomly just going to do an interview and talk about Bob Chapek uh, days after all of this backlash for him? I don't think it's very high. I think they're running damage control because the reaction to this pillar, this is how it's described. We're a big company with many constituents and stakeholders, all of whom have a place in our decision making. But at the end of the day, our most important guide, our North Star, is the consumer. Right now, their behavior tells us in our industry that the way they want to experience entertainment is changing and changing fast thanks to technology and the pandemic. We must evolve our audience, not work against them. And so we will put them at the center of every decision we make. That's not an apology. Some people are trying to spin this as, look, they're focusing on fans. No. This is not saying we've been doing things wrong. This is saying we're going to continue to do things the way we have been and evolve with you guys. This is garbage. And a lot of people called it out for exactly what it was. Uh, relentless focus on charging more and delivering less. I don't think relentless focus means the same thing to him as it does to us. Then he's going to make giving more and charging less the priority. Relentless focus on audiences' wallets. More so here. This is this is a train wreck they're talking about Bob Chapek. Fans, uh, Disney fans slam train wreck Bob Chapek on social media. Let's see some of these. I mean, next Bob will charge people to breathe in Disney. So no lies here. He's a train wreck. Eisner without a good decade. Chapek needs to go immediately. A lot of people frustrated, whether it's Star Wars, whether it's the park experience, which so many people are bitching about constantly. I see that because I follow Jay. He does park hopping. I'm not a big fan of theme parks. I think a lot of you guys know that. But to see the amount of people, even Disney shill bloggers that have been complaining about the Disney parks, a lot of stuff is going wrong for them. So much so that I think they kind of dragged Eisner out there 
to do an interview in the aftermath of all this to cover for him. Not good news for Disney. Not good news for Bob Chapek. But uh, hey, good news for us who despise the way Disney's going because maybe this will continue. Maybe the fans will continue to be outraged and push back against Bob Chapek and the garbage that Disney's pumping out. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.